had and defend NOC. Mm -hmm. But we never had that relationship like that was like. Mm -hmm. It was always turned on. Always. Because he wanted to put his niggas first to TYM, the legendary niggas. They was his front runners. And we always knew that. We were the bad guys. We was the niggas coming from wherever we was coming from and, and bringing our energy to this movement. The first time we made the decision is me and Drake battling on Judgment Day. That's a, that's, I could have easily, it was set up and in place for me to battle him at NOC. It was for the belt, it was for the championship, the who's the best in South Jersey, whatever you want to call it. We had to make that move, and that move was not only beneficial for us individually as battlers, getting a bet. And now, you can call it car because the footage ain't there no more. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But at the time, it was not only a message being sent to where it said, we don't need your league to, in order to move forward. We had to put that out there to snipe. Mm -hmm. You got to do something to where you're saying that you still have to do certain things to accommodate a situation regardless if you agree with it fully or not because mm -hmm. you're still running a somewhat business with your battle league. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's fast forward all the way to the point where you get in there. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about where the Live Boys was at from fast forward from here to here. Mm -hmm. Live Boys became Live Boys after we was NOC. This after I battled Bandit Montana, we was not loud boys as a unit yet. It was only me and Trub. We were still wearing the Get Loud shirts. Mm -hmm. um, Dre didn't come till after that. Holmesy didn't come till after that. So the original four didn't happen. We all was done with MLC. This is when we first started entering Philly and really getting in a Philly scene like that. So um, this is when I talk about the love. As soon, see, you don't, ch when you start getting success, you don't change. The people change. Mm. They make you change. Mm. We learned that. You feel what I'm saying? You the same nigga. When you come around, I'm the same nigga smoking with you. When I was a nobody a year ago, I'm the same nigga come around smoking with you a year later. But because you seen me on this level, mm. you address me different. Exactly. You approach me different. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? You look at me different. It's mm. all, oh, I see you, my nigga. It's, you changed. Mm. I did. Which intense. Your view changes. Now anything I do, my response is that you might have brushed off before, you might not have took it serious before, you take it serious now. Mm -hmm. You look at it to where my opinion means more to you. I could have called you trash a year ago and I was nobody. You would have brushed it off like fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. Now I got some success. Mm -hmm. Now I hate. Mm -hmm. Now I don't look at you right. Now there's differences. So the loud boys was able to, and this I don't want to explain this too. We didn't join anything. And I'm gonna get into I'm, I'm gonna touch into the, the flaws and crew. Uh, us recruiting them. I don't like to say that they joined us because they didn't. We went after them. They didn't ask us. So if you ask enough, that's a join. I want to be a part of what y'all creating. That's not what happened. We went after them niggas. Mm -hmm. So we wanted them to be a part of what we had and we reached out to them. They either agreed or they didn't. You feel what I'm saying? Period. It's niggas that we reached out to that that's not Loud Boys. Like D-Boy. Like Turk. Turk was actually a Loud Boy at one point. We'll talk about that. Yeah, later. I heard about that. But about that. what I'm saying is that coming up once you start getting into a situation where now you're moving mm -hmm. and I can't no longer focus on where I came from because I have to lay the foundation for the future moves that I'm about to make, people don't like that. You feel what I'm saying? They want you to give the shot when they want you to give the shot. They want you to give the shot when they feel as though it's convenient for them to come up off the shot. That's what they want. Mm -hmm. When you first get on and you get signed to a label, you just on a regular you want a regular deal. You got you got advance money. You ain't even make no bread. Your people think you want. They want you to flood the block. They want you to come show love. You ain't even got no money. You trying to explain to them niggas, I still got to do this, 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 and this before I ever can come back and give y'all niggas this. But what we trying to tell y'all niggas is that we not the answer though. It's not, like I said in the post, battling the lab boys, which is what this was originally about when you had any turmoil or bumping heads between the Loud Boys and CU, whether it was you, Reese, LOS, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's what this was based on about the Loud Boys battling um, other South Jersey niggas or the South Jersey niggas wanting to battle the Loud Boys because mm -hmm. they felt as though that would be a look, that would be a shot, this could be an answer to happen, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. or, or to get me to the next level. Mm -hmm. And we trying to tell niggas that's not the case. Mm -hmm. We trying to tell niggas we didn't join a team, we, we created a team. Mm -hmm. Out of thin air, out of nothing. Mm -hmm. Loud Boys was an idea from Trub, 
for me and him to, to take away our HME hood shit mm -hmm. and get into battle rap to get another type of brand. This was Trub idea. He is the creator of Loud Boys. I don't know if niggas know that. That is the founder of the Loud Boys. You feel me? Not Bonus, not Dre, it's Trub. It's my idea to go further than that and recruit a member. So you know what? We need to do my as well further. I was my decision to recruit Dre. It was Dre's decision to recruit Holmesy. Um, and that's how we formulated. But we also understood that when you say there's no boss, there's no boss in the team. That means nobody has a, there's nobody to check in. There's nobody making the moves for all of us. There's nobody you want to impress and improve. I mean, or, or, or go to for the right moves to make. It's collective. Anything we do, we put in the chat, we discuss money, the battles, the travel, who coming with us, where is that, the league, should we do it, should we not do it, how much should we charge, we do all that as a brotherhood, and that's how we do. But as a brand, as the Loud Boy brand, that's individual, as a Loud Boy brand, mm -hmm. it comes a lot with, with a lot more detail because we did it in a way that we wanted to brand the Loud Boys as a brand. We wanted y'all to say, them Loud Boy niggas. Mm -hmm. Not bonus, not Dre, not Trub. We want y'all to see the loud boys. Mm. And that's what y'all said.